Hi guys, we're reading A Lime, A Mime, A Pool of Slime by Brian P. Clearly. P. That's what it says. That's the person's name. A lime, a mime, P -P. and a pool of slime. More about nouns. Noun. A word that names a person, animal, place, or thing. A lime. Wait, didn't we already have a title page? A lime, a mime, a pool of slime. More about nouns. By Brian P. Clearly. A jet is a noun, and so is Peru. A net is a noun, like the chimp or the zoo. Yeah! Friend is a noun, and so is your dad. Yeah! Ice cream and bagels and Boston and Brad. Yeah! Is that Brad? Yeah. If it's a hippo, house, or ham. If it's your coach, a roach, or ram. <laughs> if it's a rock, a clock, or clown, then oh my gosh, Josh. It's a noun. And so is a comma, and your mama, a billy goat, a baby llama. <laughs> a doorway, Norway, hand-me-downs, all these things you see are nouns. If it's a person, a place, or thing, and, and a palace, pal, or shiny bling, a shack, or sheriff in your town, it's fundamental, it's a noun. But there are nouns you cannot touch or smell or hear or see. This type is called an abstract noun like joy and harmony. Love and hate are abstract nouns and so are peace and hope. You cannot taste or hold them like tart or telescope. Proper nouns all name specific people, things, and places like Uncle Lou or Timbuktu, they start with uppercases. Like Mallory or Valerie. Like Mallory or Valerie. The 17th Street Gallery. Pizza Pete's and Ming's Chinese. Proper nouns name each of these. Or Brannigan and Flanagan. Parading in with Anagan. Uh, uh, An again. <laughs> Paris, France, and your dog, Chopper. All these nouns are mighty proper. Whether they're abstract or proper or neither, whether it's talent or Timmy or teether. If it can be thought about, ridden, uptown, talked to or walked to, it's surely a noun. Like beagle or eagle, a robin or wren. A scooter, a tutor, a pig or a pen. A move tutor. A lime. It toots on moves. A dime, a pool of slime, a breeze, a sneeze, a scary mime. Nouns are words like girls and curls, cats and flats and hats and pearls. A crumb, some gum, a tiny rocket, a noun can be what's in your pocket. If it's a tape or DVD, a teacher's aid or Germany, a Germany. A coat that's made of wool or down. Then say it with me. It's a... Noun! So what's a noun? Noun. Do you know? Yep. The end. What the... It didn't <laughs> even say us with... What the... Dad, dad. Wait, wait, dad. wait. Yeah, I know, I know. Thanks, guys.